when you use Linux, you are generally expected to act like a system admin to some extent. Over on the Windows side, however, most people are not doing this. But there is still a lot of people who do go and do so. But there is also a lot of people who use Windows. And as I saw from a lot of the comments on my Atlas OS video, there are a considerable number of people who consider themselves to be fairly technical users, fairly good at working out their system, who will blindly run things and blindly change things without even remotely thinking about any of the consequences. So it does not surprise me that Daniel Stenberg had to write this blog post, deleting system32 slash curl.exe. Daniel Stenberg is the original author and lead developer of the Curl project. You've probably used Curl at least a couple of times here and there, otherwise you're probably using something like WGET. You may not know this even if you actively use Windows, but all the way back in December of 2017 with build 17063 of Windows 10, Curl started being shipped as a core part of Windows 10. And at the time, Daniel was very happy to see this, saying, I see this as a pretty huge step in Curl's road to conquer the world. Some people might not be happy with a tool like Curl being shipped with Windows, but the developer was very supportive of it. This trend continued all the way up to Windows 11 and is still available today. And it's very important to remember, this is not a re-implementation of curl. This is not a clone of curl or anything like that. This is normal, regular old curl that you can download on Windows or Linux. With the caveat that Microsoft does the building, testing, and shipping themselves. So there may be some slightly different patches and things like that, and it is going to be running an older version of curl. Any bugs that exist with this version of curl should not be reported to the curl project. They are not offering support. Instead, it should be directed at Microsoft themselves. Now, keep the fact that Windows may be shipping the older version of curl in mind. This is very important to the story. Now, curl, like any projects out there, are going to have vulnerabilities from time to time. This is especially true if we're dealing with something that connects to the internet, like Curl does. And this is nothing against Curl. Every project is going to have vulnerabilities. And late last year, a new one was discovered. In one particular case, CVE 2022-43552 was reported by the Curl project in December of 2022. It is a use after free floor that we determined to be severity low and not higher, mostly because of the very limited time window you need to make something happen for it to be exploited or abused. NVD, which is the National Vulnerability Database, set it to medium, which admittedly was just one notch higher this time. If you want to go read about the CVE, go ahead and do so. It's not really important to today's story. At least the details of said CVE. The CVE itself is very important. Now, here's the fun part. Security scanners. Lots of Windows users everywhere run security scanners on their system with regular intervals in order to verify their systems are fine. Things like CC Cleaner or more reputable projects like Malwarebytes. I'm not calling out these two projects in particular. These are just two common examples people will have heard of. At some point after December 21, 2022, when this CVE here was reported, some of these scanners started to detect installations of curl that included the above mentioned CVE. Nessus apparently started this on February 23rd. Have a look at that if you really want to. This is not helpful. And users of this software started to mention this issue in places like the Tenable Forums, the developer of Nessus, Tenable seems to be flagging the curl binary that comes as part of the Windows OS itself, opposed to a separate vendor controlled installer. I've done some searching and can't find any paths to remediate this or acknowledge by Microsoft. 
I assume that this solution would need to come out as an OS patch or hotfix from Microsoft, but I'm not seeing any other options at this time than to wait. Also, over on learn.microsoft.com, Tenable Nessascan indicates the built-in Windows curl program is vulnerable. Please suggest a remedy for this. At this point, curl is a part of your operating system. It's not a core part that's required for the store or anything like that, but it is a part of the Windows operating system, and the remedy is to wait for your vendor to give you an update. That simple. But no, that's not good enough. Instead, it's time to panic. Lots of Windows users everywhere then started the panic when the security applications warned them about their vulnerable curl.exe. This is obviously hyperbole. Most people didn't even know this was happening. But there was a very small group of people that were very, very worried. Many Windows users are even contractually forced to fix all security warnings within a certain period of time or risk bad consequences and penalties. Like this person, who needs a remedy for it and can't just wait for a system update. Now, as Microsoft does, eventually they did push out a system update. They didn't do it in a very timely fashion, this happened on April 11th with KB5025221. What a great name for an update. Either way, it pushed curl up to a newer version that no longer had the exploit. So all's well that ends well. No. No. Do you remember how some of these people were absolutely desperate to get the issue fixed? Some users decided to take the problem into their own hands. How do you fix this? I have been asked numerous times about how to fix this problem. I have stressed at every opportunity that it is a horrible idea to remove the system curl or to replace it with another executable. It is very easy to download a fresh curl install for Windows from the curl site, but we strongly discourage everyone from replacing system files. And that is a really good response. But here's the thing, it's not a good response that some people wanted to hear. Bad advice. I have been pointed to responses on the Microsoft site, answers.microsoft.com, done by helpful volunteers that specifically recommend removing the curl.exe executable as a fix. This is not helpful. I don't want to help spreading that idea, so I'll not link to any such post. Oh, but I will. So, this post right here, curl update for Windows 11. This person is running 7.8.3, which is lower than 7.87.0. And the first response from an independent advisor, Hi Rahul, and thanks for reaching out. My name is Prosper, I'm a Windows 10 expert and a user like you. I'll be happy to help you out today. Removed, as this is has not been effective at solving the issue. This page has not been archived. But if we have a scroll through this, I just tried the above step provided by you, but Microsoft is not allowing to remove the original file. This person was suggesting remove the original file. This is what Daniel said not to do. Also, it happened over on this post as well. Update curl 7.88.1 Windows Server. If we scroll down just a little bit, Long Stephen from Reddit. Download the latest curl. Unzip it. Take ownership of curl.exe. Rename or delete the old curl.exe. Copy in the new one. If you don't know what you're doing, stop offering advice. So what's the big deal? They manually updated curl. That's clearly not going to cause a problem. Well, so the people who made the mistake of manually updating, those people could not upgrade Windows because the Windows update procedure detects that the Windows install had been tampered with and it refuses to continue. Like this user right here, manually replaced curl.exe before the Windows 2023 monthly update, and now the monthly patch won't update. Manually replace curl on Windows 2019 standard server, and it won't update. 
is there a fix? And there is a bunch of people in those other two threads who had the exact same problem. This is not Linux, where you can do some really dumb things and your package manager is just like, okay, um, I don't know what this file is, but update. Let's see what happens. This is Windows. There's going to be checksums. It's going to be making sure things are good. And if you tamper with things, it's not going to be good. Now, I am not a Windows user, but apparently there is a way to fix this. Thank you for Daniel Stenberg's commenters. Uh, this guy, Rallish. Rallish? Relish. I'm going to say Rallish. If you run SFC slash scan now, this should fix it. Assuming you have just deleted curl.exe, not updated it to a newer version. If you have updated it, the problem is you've basically corrupted your Windows component store, WinSXS. In Windows, all of your core system components are from the Windows component store and then hard linked out of the store. So first, you need to actually repair the store and then once you've repaired the store, then you should be able to run the fix to get curl actually reinstalled. I would suggest not have done this problem in the first place, but, you know, this should recover the system back to a, you know, usable point. And Daniel ends by saying this, we are not responsible. I just want to emphasize that if you install and run Windows, your friendly provider, I wouldn't say friendly, your provider is Microsoft. You need to contact Microsoft for support and help with Windows related issues. The curl.exe you have in System32 is only provided indirectly by the curl project and we cannot fix this problem for you. This is like having a problem with Brave, for example, and then going to the Chromium project. Brave is the project giving you Chromium, you're going to the wrong place. And we cannot fix this problem for you. We, in fact, fixed the problem in the source code already back in December 2022. If you have removed curl.exe or otherwise tampered with your Windows installation, the curl project cannot help you. And finally, as Daniel says in his tweet, do not, I repeat, do not remove curl.exe from your Windows System32 folder to silence a stupid security scanner. It will lead to tears and sorrows. I don't know why anyone thought that doing that on a Windows system would be a good idea. You're not dealing with Linux, you are dealing with Windows. Just treat Windows like Windows, get the updates from Microsoft, and if you do anything outside of that, don't expect things to work. If you want to go and do it, that's fine. But expect things to break very, very quickly. So let me know. Do you think this is a really dumb situation that no users should have ever put themselves into, or do you think this is a reasonable response to a so-called security problem on their system? I would love to know. And if you're on a Linux system, would you do the same? Or would you just wait for an update to come from your distro? I would love to know. So if you like the video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one over these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scrab, Silly Berapay, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and my whiteboard markers are almost empty. I'm going to buy more. I'll, bu I'll buy more tonight, probably. I'll, I'll probably forget. Anyway, I'm out. <laughs>